My name is Lauren Dutton and I am the weekend house supervisor at Selby General Hospital. Well, I went to Marietta Senior High School, graduated from there in 1979, and we did have guidance counselors and we took those aptitude tests and everything I took said um, that I was a people person, but I didn't know how to put that into what I wanted to be. And so interestingly, because I'm very, very um, assertive and self defined now, but at that age, I, I thought I was, but I wasn't. And the trend, if you were alive back then, anybody, is for women to go into petroleum engineering. And my dad worked at Marietta College, so I got free tuition at Marietta, so I was gonna be a petroleum engineer. Well, guess what? There's no people in that, and I hated it. <laughs> I absolutely hate it. I was sitting there learning about rocks, and I thought, this is not for me at all. So after one year, I, I called it quits and said, that's not the career for me. So then <laughs> I needed a way to do something, to have a career path, to do something that would get me an education or something. So the thing to do was to go in the military. So my dad and mom said, hey, well, why don't you consider the Navy? And I thought, okay. So I took the aptitude test, which ironically, again, said you're a people person and I could have chosen any career I wanted in the Navy because I scored high enough on it. I could have picked anything but in that time in my life I had no idea how to translate my passion for people into a career so I took the advice of other people and went into the um, communications where it's a cryptologic technician program and for those of you who don't know what that is, you sit for 12 hours with a set of headphones on and listen to, listen to communications from other countries to look for spy activity. <laughs> there is no interaction with another human being. It is just crazy, boring, and awful. So that didn't last very long. And so then when I came home from the Navy, uh, I just got a regular job like everyone else. and. Um, lucked into a career at the Ohio Bureau of Employment Services where finally I got a chance to work with people. I was the um, work incentive program coordinator so I worked with um, families who had head of household who was displaced from a job or unemployed and needed help. So finally I get a chance to work with people helping them write resumes, teaching them how to interview, helping them find jobs. I love change and I have, this nursing is the only career I've ever been in longer than 10 years. About eight years, I get itchy, I wanna learn something new. I love change just for the sake of change. And while I was posting positions and looking at positions, um, while I was working at the job service, one came across my desk that I thought, mm, I'd be really good for that. <laughs> So I talked to my boss and they said it was fine for me to apply, so I did, and I actually became the human resources coordinator at BF Goodrich, which is a local uh, manufacturing company. And I did that for, um, I think it was around four years, and my supervisors and mentors said, oh my goodness, you need to move up, so why don't you become the, the manager of the shipping and receiving department? <laughs> No experience in that. Okay, I'm up for the challenge. I'll try something new. Didn't even know what a box truck was. Didn't know anything about anything to do with shipping. And within three years, I was the manager of shipping and receiving who everyone called to make stuff happen. If a shipment had to go out three in the morning, they called me. So, but coming with that responsibility came a great deal of stress. Monday through Friday, worked 10, 12 hours, come home very stressed, very unhappy. To a husband who worked 24 hours on and 48 hours off, had a really good life. Two full days, kids in school, you could do whatever you wanted. I want that. <laughs> so, my husband and I were on a walk one day and I said, you know, I'm really unhappy and I'd really like to have a job like yours. And he said, well, take the test. So that was my goal. Okay, I'm gonna get on the fire department. What do I have to do? So I went to the library, got all the books, started studying about fire department, got copies of old civil service tests for the fire department, studied my brains out, started running and lifting weights and making sure I could do the physical portion because I was only like 130 pounds then and part of it is lifting this dummy that's dead weight that's 170 pounds and carrying it 100 feet. So you know I knew it was going to be a daunting task. I couldn't do one pull up let alone 15. But I knew that I had the ability to finish first on the test uh, in terms of the academic part of it because I love taking tests and I just knew if I could do that and pass physical they'd have to at least interview me <laughs> so they did <laughs> I finished number one on the test I was interviewed and I got the job at the fire department so that was in 94 
Marietta. I was the only woman they've had. They haven't had one since either. I keep hoping some woman will rise to the challenge and apply. Um, and all firefighters in Marietta have to become EMTs. So became an EMT, loved it. I wanna do more. So in Ohio, you can be an EMT I, which is intermediate, which allows you to do more. You can start IVs and do some things. Oh, I wanna do that, so I did that. <laughs> well, what's after that? Paramedic. So I, be, I was in paramedic school and one of our instructors was up in front of the room and she somehow said to us, oh yeah, I'm in nursing school while I'm working as a medic. Oh, my ears perked up. What do you mean, how are you doing that? And so after class, I met with her and she told me how she was going to nursing school in the non-traditional method while she was working as a medic. Oh, that's perfect for me. So I started back to college at Washington State taking all my non-nursing because there's some things you just can't learn by distance, like anatomy and physiology and microbiology. So I just took two classes a semester, at, or they were quarters back then, at Washington State. And I did that for several years until I had every single thing I needed for nursing other than nursing. And then I enrolled in a distance learning facility that's in Albany, New York. And for one year, I busted my butt and did nothing but study for nursing day and night, study, study, take tests, go do clinicals. And then I passed my um, class and passed my boards and became a registered nurse in 2000. <laughs> and because I, I I like change and I like to grow and continually um, want to see what else I'm capable of. In nursing, there are certifications you can achieve and you do that by showing that you're competent. So I'm also a certified emergency nurse, a certified pediatric emergency nurse, and a certified orthopedic nurse. Along with the SAFE, yes. So, and now I'm working on my master's in nursing education. I have a passion for teaching. I currently, te I'm, yeah, I'm also a PALS instructor and a TNCC instructor, which are specific classes that nurses have to have. Um, I have a passion for teaching. However, the field of education doesn't offer the same, it's not a competitive wage with what you make as a nurse. So I'm, I'm playing right now trying to figure out where am I going with this? Am I going to keep the job I have and teach in addition to that? That's a definite possibility. I might teach at the local college. Um, I might even teach at the vocational school um, in the, I think it's called medical assistant program. You know, will I stay like that for, I don't know. I just knew I wanted to learn something more and I wanted to do something else. And I've been a nurse for 15 years now. That's my longest career. I don't know what's next, but I'm not limited by my age or um, I'm not limited by anything. I could decide to become an architect tomorrow if I wanted to.